Hey everybody and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott and I've got a match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Peter on the left and Florent on the right. This is round 6, the final round of Swiss in the Kyber Cup. Peter flying at Django Zam, double fire sprays. Florent with Resistance Salad. Rose, Red Squadron Expert. Jess, Bastion, and a Colossus Station Mechanic. We'll get on their Dead Man Switch. All right. I like it. Both players, four and one. Looking to keep their cut hopes alive. Did I reset the bets? I had the wrong list near, really. Oh, well. Rip. So everybody but the Colossus Station staying together could go out there and be a really annoying blocker. So Django's red in the middle. Zam's at the bottom. How do you want to approach this? Nice to see all meaningful obstacles out there, rocks and debris. I do like Colossus Station as a blocker. If you don't get the block out in, you're probably still range one, and you're probably still giving your opponent a reason to maybe not shoot you. Maybe not destroy you. Goes for the hard one. Not in a great blocking position yet. But could be eventually. Now, is green range one of the Colossus Station? Because if that ship dies, if Colossus Station dies this turn and bounces damage off into green, not right. Yellow. Clips the debris, takes a stress, does not roll the crit, so it doesn't take any damage from it. Rose, coordinating a focus. Ah, another C-3PO on Rose. Love it. Red Squadron Expert. Ah, goes over the debris, but already had a focus coordinated from Rose. Cool. Zam, one hard turn to the right, no shot. We'll be taking an obstructed shot from the mechanic if you stay there. Do you care? Looking at the boost. Looking at a straight boost though. Maybe it gets you out of range. Zam does have Oh, per cop. Dooku's on Django. Who boosts in? Okay. No shot for him. No shot for Zam either, so... The mechanic... Gonna shoot range 2 into Django? Might as well, right? There's no repercussions. Well, we'll see what Zam chose. For the condition, one hit. Gonna use Dooku to guarantee and evade. Mm. 
green. Has an obstructed shot. And now Zam has no mods. Django. Hit crit. Two plus obstruction plus range for four dice. Two natural evades. And back to dials. So Zam's heading into a quarter. Corner, so... A little more predictable. I don't think Django's going hard one left. So it's either a straight or also into the corner. Rose probably needs to hard turn and keep that stress. Colossus Station mechanic. Is there any good slamming to be done here? You could get in front of Django. Oh, they're checking uh, Zams. You should thank me. If it was you better mean business, you could get two charges for being in arc but not shot. But there's no effect here. So how hard do you commit to this corner with the T-70s? Or do you just expect to get the block on Django? Move everybody straight? And take those shots? If Zam's not there, I mean, Django can one hard. Can you block that? You'd have to do a three forward, three hard. Do you have a three hard on him? Well, that's not what he's doing. Yeah, it's red. Um, just as the one bank. Okay, nothing too complex there. Two banks looking good so far. Jess, two straight. I have to. Oh, no. Wanted the possibility of a coordinate, I think, from Rose, but. I don't know what you would. The person you could coordinate to is Jess, who, one, already gets rerolls, and two, isn't in range for a. Tar well, you could maybe target lock Django. Ends up rolling Rose, which stresses her again. Seems like yeah, too hard. I mean, whatever. It's it's basically the same place, and you had more choices. Zam, too hard left, does come into the corner. How many arcs is she in? Maybe three. Hard one from Django. Has the back arc for shots. Takes a lock. Transponder code jams the focus off of the mechanic. And yeah, this is... If you can kill... Well, with one shot, I don't think you can. If you could kill the Colossus Station mechanic here, it'd be great. 
because he's closer to your enemies than your friends. Spins the lock. Hit crit. Uh, double blanks on the mechanic. So it takes hit crit. The crit is stunned pilot. Gives up half points. First shot into... Zam. Now, normally with two charges up, I would think you go. You better mean business, but we'll see. Three hits. Natty's from the T70. Zam. Spins one of the per cop focuses, takes one, and we'll see what that charge. It is you better mean business, the uh, condition. If, well, she does not search for the uh, bonus attack. Oh, she already knows what's in. Yeah, she shot early. Didn't have anything in arc, so knows she can't take the uh, bonus attack. Oh man, another shield off of Zam. It was three dice and three hits again. That's six natties in a row for those T70s. There you go. One hit from the Colossus Station mechanic. Turns out that focus, not necessary. Two evades from Zam. Safe from that attack. Paul saying, I feel like Zam is well and truly cornered, and I agree. Where do you go? Let's get these dice out of here. Sixty minutes left. One hard zam towards the corner. Can you get out of that? The next turn? Does Rose just one bank again? And can you get the block in with mechanic, the uh, Colossus Station mechanic? You've got all the options in the world. Just two forward, everybody. One bank, Jess. So yeah, if you if you do that, if you do the one hard towards the corner, right, and you're here. I guess you can. Yeah, you, you probably can stay in the game.
And how are you helping out with Django, right? Do you... I don't know. I mean, you, you turn away and use the back arc, but you're flying away. Hard one in, but I don't know that you... You might get a shot into the Colossus Station. Who barrel rolls. One straight. I hope red moves a little bit faster, because there, there's a chance of, like, a three bank left, and that may actually complete... I think if he'd done twos with the T-70s, you could have caused a little bit more blockage. But Zam could also move straight. We'll see. Th there's definitely outs here. One bank from Rose. Goes for the roll. Keeps the stress for now. Does do the hard one away. That does put this Colossus Station mechanic at range 1, though. It means it's dangerous to kill, and it's the only shot that Django has. Deadman Switch. Let's see it. Three v three, three v four. Oh, I think he spent Dooku for a crit. There it is. Hit it, crit. Four dice unmodded. Takes hit crit. Console fire. So he could die this turn if Zam doesn't kill him first. He's not shooting, so maybe you don't shoot that ship. Maybe you shoot, yeah, someone back there. He's looking at it. Hit crit. You die. Three dice for the T-70. Do you want to spend that focus or take it on the shield? Yeah, he takes it. Oh, that's Bastion. Okay. Jess. Gonna shoot first. Focus and rerolls. Can you Dooku the opponent's console fire? Yes, but you're out of range, unfortunately. Yeah, you gotta be in uh, range two. Here's the Jess shot. Hit, crit, crit. Ooh. Three Natty Evades from Zam. Would you Dooku the console fire not to trigger so it doesn't die and hit a dead man? It, I think you... It depends on what the other T-70s do. If they don't do any damage into Zam, then yeah, would if you were in range with Dooku. Um, then yeah, take the shield to kill that ship. If they punch through a lot of damage on Zam, then you would have kept it alive if you could. Uh, here's two hits. Still range three. Spins one of the two per cop focuses. Hit crit. There you go. There's a shield on Zam. Ooh, gonna use You Better Mean Business for the shot into green again. Three dice with the focus. One hit, two evades.
Here's the console fire. Does die. <laughs> you can't go back, Brendan. All right. 52 minutes left in the game. Oh, we let's put the... Uh, yeah, shields down on Zam because of the Dead Man switch. Did it hit red or green? No. Save state to see what happens if CM lives. Unfortunately, that chip has already been deleted. Fifty-two minutes left. Twenty-eight to zero. Peter early lead, and I. He can only go right, right? Zam can only go right. And even that is precarious. Is that enough room? Yeah, I mean, it's not exactly corner to corner for a medium base one, right? Ooh. <laughs> That's close, man. I mean, medium base always fits, right, guys? Right? I mean, no matter what, you you go in hard on that corner. Because if Zam does the one hard, Zam either flies off the board or does a one hard and can't boost away. And has the back arc facing the wrong direction. So, even if Zam doesn't die, Zam probably dies. Three, six, nine damage dice coming that way. Eh. I mean, we just saw Zam shrug off a lot, so definitely possible. You need to assume she's on with the T-70s. Finish the job. Yeah, I completely agree. And, and yeah, exactly. Django can't help. Oh, yeah. I mean, whatever. Drop the bomb. Yep. Gonna drop two thermals. And you eat those all day long. Had a chance to kill this ship. Oh, he's going to try and get out of there. Uh-oh. That means... Bastion's wings are closed. Bumps with red. Oh, boy. Bumps with Jess. Quad 
coordinate a lock or something. <laughs> oh boy. It does fit. <laughs> Takes the double focus. And actually, does she have a shot on the back? She might. First thermal goes off. Second thermal goes off. Django. <laughs> you know what? Said Django wasn't going to help. Wrong. Probably going to go off. Wrong. Django, hit, hit, crit. Who's this into? Uh, Rose. Spins the calculate. Takes one on the shield. Yep, and there's the shout out the back from Zam. Three hits. Two evades and an eyeball. This is Bastion who takes one. No shot back there from Jess. This one actually did have the focus, thanks to Rose. Hit, hit, crit. It is three dice from Zam. Range three. Spins to focus, takes nothing. And no shot for Bastion. Man! You should thank me gets the lock on red. Wow. Those bombs, man. They did some work. Scared off the T-70s. Got them out of position. Zam took no damage, stayed on the board. And now has a clean, too hard, possible boost. Django behind the whole formation. Peter knows what's up, yeah? Great turn for him. Alright, but if we're looking over at the T-70s, he's taken... Well, he's lost the mechanic. Two shields on Bastion. One on Rose. Django can't turn to the right. So he either needs to turn left and shoot out the back. Or he'd go straight and boost... Honestly, straight's not terrible because Rose is probably like a one bank.
Throwing down another thermal. Seems good. Still has one left. Nice. Big hard threes. Two bank from Jess. Coordinate from Rose. Maybe give Jess a focus. Yeah. There's the one hard from Zam. Zam boosts. So no defensive mods. Probably in two arcs. Django two straight. Yeah, he knew Rose was going to be here. Right call there. 3v2. No other friendly ships in arc. So no rerolls from Rose this time. Uses Dooku for a crit. Focuses for hit hit crit. Rose. <laughs> Double Natty Evade. Still takes a crit. Still gives up half. And takes a direct. Down to one. Oh, you know what? They got it. Range two. Hit crit. Spins the lock. Blank into a blank. One of eight, two eyes. Red squadron, take it on the shield. Nope, spins his focus. He's unblemished, right? Hmm. Okay. Hey, Jess has a shot. Hit crit. Ooh, meaningful damage. Direct hit into Zam. Takes three. One, two, three. Half points. You should thank me. Gets a charge back. Takes a lock. Sorry, I, the second that happened, I saw Atomic Mass went live. They're doing a painting stream. Though. So we can stay here. We're fine. One crit, one evade. This is Bastion, right? Oh, did Bastion take his... He's one to two, right? Yeah. Oh, he shot Red Squadron Expert first, who got the crit in the eyeball. And hey, that focus would have gotten a crit through. Uh, this time, hit hit crit goes through. Damaged engine. All right. Hit hit crit. So in this instance, if he had saved that focus on the Red Squadron Expert and spent it on attack, that would have been one extra damage and a dead Zam, right? What was Zam's action? It was a boost. So 
So Zam's on one. Still has a thermal. Will almost certainly drop it. Thirty-seven minutes left. Forty-seven to forty-three. Four-point game. Florent in the lead for now, with half on Zam, but he's two away on Bastion, one away from losing Rose, and any of those will get Peter the uh, the points he needs. Two straight drop, yeah. Or one, hmm. One, probably. Two is good if you thought those ships were turning left, but no. That was the question where you have to say, who who are you more likely to end up with in Ark? Do you like three bank over the debris? Just try to point at Zam? Or do you try and hard turn around to catch Django? It's all bad. It all uh, seems to involve gold over that debris. You could like two forward boost. And if you're Zam, you're doing a four forward boost, right? One drop and go fast with Zam, yeah. So then... Do you turn Django out and shoot out the back? Or do you keep him in close? One hard, two hard, something like that. I mean, again, you're committing to that corner. Which seems not great. Thermal. So thermals are out. R2 from Bastion. Gonna roll for the debris. Ah, he's gonna use Dooku on the debris. Wow. Yep. Love it. So that's a shield down on Bastion. And that makes me think he's not turning in. Or, or, well, maybe he is turning in and he wants Bastion to be closer to death. There's the bank. Coordinates a focus to the Red Squadron Expert, who does a two bank, lands on the debris.
One reason to not bring Debridi more is Dooku. Yeah. That's a good point. Some people don't enjoy our gas cloud future, but I mean, it kind of protects you from things like Dooku. All right, two ships taking this thermal. Red takes nothing. Jess takes a crit on the shield. Django. Try and take out Bastion. You could probably kill Rose, but if you can take Bastion out before he shoots, that's the only shot that's coming your way. Lone Wolf, four hits. One of eight takes three. So Bastion lives on one. Thank you, Connor. Yeah, I did have the uh, thermal damage backwards. We're good now, I think. Um, ba Zam shot, one hit, one evade. Easy. Let's see if Florent can get lucky here. Range three shot. Zam stayed in the fight. Can still blank out. This ship would need to roll hits or crits, though, which it does not. Is that the... I don't know what that was. Um, one hit, one evade? Nada. So it was just this shot. No shot for Red Squadron Veteran. Range one from... Uh, Bastion. Two hits, two evades. Wow. Well, 29 minutes left. Peter now in the lead by 20. Rose is barely hanging on. Bastion is barely hanging on. I can't imagine Zam sticks around. Does have to bank. Maybe a three bank boost. Damaged engine makes things a little... Makes you a little more vulnerable. Four K Zam this turn. Why? Why turn her around? Then come back in for the dead man switch, or just hold on to your forty seven points. Let Django do the tango.
Yeah, I like uh, I like Jenko's chances here. You've got three T70s all stressed, facing two different directions. Hold on with a one hole ship about to turn around a rock for 28 minutes. Yeah, three bank boost. Hold on. Three bank boost against three stressed T-70s? Absolutely. Four straight. How are they catching you? Tabi, what are you worried about, my man? Three bank, three straight boost? Two bank boost? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not really worried about anybody catching Zamp, but maybe I'm wrong. If they want Zam that bad to chase her, then Jango has a field day, yeah. Bastion. Bank to the right. One straight from Rose. Red Squadron. Comes off the debris. Not going to use Django on that one. Rolls the crit naturally. Oh boy. There's the three bank. There's the boost. Django, one hard, one hard, right, okay, should be able to kill Rose here, uh, he Dooku's for a crit, oh boy, only one, Lone Wolf, ooh, okay, Rose, Rose lives, Yeah, uh, um, great block there from Bastion. I really expected Django to kill Bastion and then get to hunt these two T-70s while Zam runs. Let's clear these dice out of here. So now, now the yellow T70 Jess is not stressed. So now you can do like a big three hard boost. And I don't think Zam can escape. Four forward boost, is that?
two bank boost, three hard boost. I think you can get her. Oh boy. What have I done? See, I'm just doing a one hard double tap. This is a turn where I might be okay with that. Zamus awaited in Valhalla. Witness me. Rose. Rose might just have to tango here. Here's the four straight from Zam. I think she's safe here. Yep, double focus. Oh no! Django on the rock. I think you, you Dooku this, right? You don't need to save it for anybody else. Yeah, spins Dooku for a blank. He didn't boost with Jess, okay. Yeah, if he boosted with Jess, with Jess, he would have been in range. Uh, Bastion. If you hadn't Dooku'd for Django, then you could have Dooku'd this. Oh well. And that would have actually... That would have been half points on Bastion. And now that I think about it, maybe you do take a shield on Django to get half points on Bastion. But, oh well. All right. Kill ba Oh, is Bastion on one? Oh, you're right. <laughs> That's even better. Yeah, definitely. Definitely should have done that. Man, I... Oh, boy. I forgot about Bastion being on one. Outside of range two for Bastion. You're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. I'm thinking of the bomb being at range 2, but that doesn't matter. The ship needs to be at range 2. Finally, unstressed on Rose, you can hard turn. 19 minutes left. Grab something from the kitchen. How much is pal? Like 12, right? Yeah, are you doing a hard two with Django? And then deciding whether to shoot out the front or the back? Yep, they're going for Zame in the corner. Does she turn in hard one? Nope. Can you boost, bank boost out of that? The answer is no. 
He is in arc for Jess, but not for the Red Squadron. Do you have range there on Bastion? It's so close. Takes the focus. Oh, he's going to try and kill Rose. Hit crit. Rose is gone. GG well played. Zam into Bastion. Three hits. Bastion three dice with a focus. Why is it five? Oh boy, I <laughs> Pretty sure of that math. Two plus one is three. There we go. All paint to live. Doesn't get it. Dead. So now losing Zam does not get you back into the game. Killing Zam does not get you back in. So they do get the kill on Zam. Dead Man Switch doesn't do anything. And the condition doesn't do anything. All right. Django versus two X-Wings. Let's go. How are they looking to? We've got two shields gone on the Red Squadron Expert. Jess is full health. People still out here not deleting ships. I guess so. Zam used all her charges. Uh, well, except the ones on her ship, right? Talon from Red Squadron Expert. Jess tried to talent. No, a 4K from Red Squadron and Jess tried to talon. Uh, hmm. Goes for the boost. I don't know that that helped him. I think he's at the same range with no mods. Well, he's got the force point. One hit. Jaduku. Yeah. He had Lone Wolf too if he needed it. What am I talking about? He's got all the mods.
All right. 12 minutes left. Peter is leading by 11. Not a big impetus to bring Django in close. Although now that Jess is stressed, can't turn around. I was going to say you could Talon left. That's not great. Too hard left boost. Get shots into that Red Squadron Expert. Two straight from red. Left bank from Jess. Goes for a lock. Dig it. Yeah, I, okay. Yeah, no reason to engage. Coming down to 10 minutes, take this range 3 shot out the back with Dooku. Three V four. Duku's for a crit. There's the crit. Hit it, crit. Four dice, no mods. Two evades. Takes one. Shields down on the red squadron expert. One away from half. And Django gets to keep the target lock. Odds for Django taking any damage the rest of the game. Ugh, man, 10 minutes left. He dropped thermals here and discourage the... Oh, he's got four th or three thermals left. Yeah, man. Dro at least drop one with a two back. Are you hard turning with Jess or turning around? Hmm. Nine minutes left. Oh boy, there's just not a lot of time. Drops that thermal with a two back. Red Squadron turns away. Not the engagement he wants. Jess, two turn and a roll. Thermal detonate. Still two left. Seven and a half minutes. Maybe Red Squadron does a Talon left. I don't know that a hard two. I mean, a hard two and a boost maybe is okay. Seven minutes left. Two 
Two bank to the left from Django. Heading into the corner. Goes for a boost. All right. Six minutes left. Still a decent amount of time you need to do. Six damage. Four shields, two hull. You've got locks, so if you can get arc, you'll have double mana shots. There's the bank. Red is one from half, yeah. But he's done a good job of keeping the most vulnerable ship in the back. One bank from Django. His ability will not be online. They've all done blue maneuvers. He's gonna go into he's gonna go into Jess. Who's full health? Dooku for the crit. Don't I wouldn't spend anything else on that attack. Yeah, just gonna take it on the shield. No big deal. Nope, used her ability. Okay. Because she's already got a lock. I get it. Doesn't need her ability for the attack. Triple hits. That's a way back in. And blank out from Django. Spins the focused and takes two. Debating. Spins it. Two shields. Still need four more damage. For half points. Target lock. Focus for three. It is range three. Django, no mods. Takes two. He is now two away from half. So it's getting closer. Let me just double check that. Yeah, two damage is what you need. Three minutes could be the last turn, although there's only three ships on the board, so moves a little bit faster. Goes for the block. Now, red, 22 points. So if you give up half points on red, but get half points on Django. Ooh, there's the block. It's getting a little easier. Django, range two, 3v2. He's got Dooku and Lone Wolf. Ooh, doesn't have to think about spending any of it on the attack. Doesn't Dooku this, but you know what? He's guaranteed to get half points. What am I talking about? So that means it is a 33 point difference, but half of Django is 52. Range two, back to Django. 3v2. 
one, two damage is what you need. Does he use Dooku on this? Nope. He could Dooku his evade dice and stay above half with a guaranteed evade. Doesn't need it. Lone Wolf. Two evades. Doesn't take anything. Oh. All right. One minute left. Probably a Talon roll from Jess. Can you K-turn with... No, I think that, that just hits him. It just hits Django. Three bank for the win, says Soj. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. there's no way for that red squadron expert to stop you get right past it boost if you need to time's up and let's see who's walking away at four and one four and two and who's walking away at uh five and one guaranteed spot in the cut how long have i not had florence it's literally the last round, and I never put his um, his score up there, his record. Sloppy. There's the Talon, and pushes it forward. Knows Django's going to run. Goes for the Talon. All right, Django. There's the three bank. There's a boost left to get you out of. Yeah, he'll probably have an uncontested show. Oh, no, he's got range to both, which means she's got range back to him. Cat Farms, thank you very much. 16 months. Enjoy those emotes. Here it is, 3v3. Two hits. Lone Wolf. You gonna spend all your mods? Oh, no, that was the target lock. One evade. Takes one... on the expert. All right. Jess, it's up to you. Two damage. Two damage. That's what you need. 3v3. He's got the force point and lone wolf. Well, that's that's how you start it. He's going to force point and lone wolf. He needs an evade here or he takes two. He gets the evade. He takes one and stays above half. That is the end of the game. 127 to 94. Peter walks away with the W with the win at five and one. Florent, fantastic game till the end. What a way to end the last Reroll. Wow. Congratulations, Peter. And thank you to everyone for watching. That'll do it for this match. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexiled Gaming, signing off.